How's the new tube? Hope you're all well. Um, hope you're all having a good weekend, etc. I haven't been feeling too good, been feeling a bit under the weather. Uh, feeling like shit, run down, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, I just wanted to just mention something. Uh, what things have been happening lately? Uh, strange things in my life. It's like something that's spoken about or something that's mentioned, and then it's like, if I talk, it's like last night um, I was talking to somebody and I was telling them about certain folk that would be in touch, and um, I mentioned a guy, um, I'm not going to say his name, but it's somebody for a, a television a channel who got in touch with me last November, and November it was, I think, last year. Um, I asked him how, to, how, he got, how he got my number. He told me that my details got passed on through um, a mutual friend. Um, and I thought it was a bit of a wind up to begin with until he spoke to me and then we went through a few, we went through a, we went through a few things. And basically, it was one of my story. Um, he says that I, 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 um, I ticked all the, all the is it, criteria for a project he was in. Um, I think all he did was prison, ex prisoners, ex fucking shit like that. So, um, long story short, he turned me to catch up with a few other people to get their stories first, uh, be over the phone, interview kind of thing to begin with, then face to face after that. So, this was November, December, January, and then it just turned me his moving house to be in touch soon. So, last night, I think my pal. Okay, and I don't know, blah blah. It wasn't until this morning I noticed they actually tried to get in touch with me on Wednesday and on Friday. So, State Parliament and all that, and um, it's, I think it's to try and help prisoners. As much as folk wanted to say fuck prisoners and let them rot, there's all innocent people in prison. I know that for a fucking fact, there's all innocent people in prison. And prisoners still have human rights because you've got to bear in mind. The prisoners that get the most, how can you put it? Well, all the time I've been in prison, right? You see the people that are in protection halls for the, 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 the most horrific crimes and they seem to get the best treatment. I'm not saying they get the best treatment because it's hard to say I personally just think they should just get fucked in a cell with the key for away and let them rot. And the other criminals that's been caught as I always say, I will never justify drug dealers, drug dealing, but people phone for drugs, right, where people don't phone perverts, carry fiddlers, rapists, shit like that. So, how the judge can give a guy seven years for supplying drugs to somebody, or supplying drugs I should say, and give a guy a seven month suspended jail sentence, for being a pervert or whatever, I'll never, I'll never understand that. So I think that was part of the project, it was to go to Parliament and speak on behalf and do my bit because I've been in prison so many times. Now, I've been in prison a lot, but the most majority, most majority of the times it was remand, uh, obviously my friend was murder, self-defence, extortion, was I'm not guilty. Um, the firearm was a not guilty because uh, somebody left the firearm in my bottom toilet covered. Uh, my fingerprints were on it. Um, so I'd be up for all the serious charges and all of them I'd be innocent. Um, I don't know, see, I should probably be punished because the firearm was in my house. But then the day someone put their hands up and that was out of my hands. But um, out with that. Like I say, is it exposed something else that's going on, an ongoing thing, and it's going to take another two years for this person to go to court for putting over 30 people through hell. You know, I just don't understand how that kind of shit works. But another thing with YouTube is the amount of folk that build platforms through defending people, the shame folk, they make it their offer this person, and then you see him getting a shout out of some other person. Um, see him get them on a show because I'm my back and this and that. 
I just I just follow two faced backstab hunts. Um and where I've come from well in my my place, my family, my upbringing, two faced backstabbing it just shouldn't shouldn't happen. Um, especially jumping ships, jumping camps, just to build a platform, I'll know I'll never fair enough you go to day, you go to day. But I would just say, you know, I started my own shower to myself. I go to where I go to myself, no way using this person, no way using that person. Okay, um obviously there's there's a lot of people on YouTube that's got somewhere who are using people. But there's a lot of people that go somewhere because they deserve to be in that place. Um, and the other YouTubers, there's a, there's a half a dozen people on YouTube, half a dozen people that I've got a lot more respect for. And I'll always say it to Danny Christie, be one of them. Devin Hartley, be two. Me and Devin became good friends. Brett, Brett, Brett May, no. Um, and, and Donny, from my, from my area. Jambo, from my area. Um, no, I can't fucking say this cunt, he's done that and he's done this so fucking what we've all done son, we've all got a past. <laughs> See the main thing is, it's not about your past, it's what you do in your future, we've all got to remember that we all make mistakes. And folk that bring other folk down for their past mistakes, listen, I'm quite sure he's got past mis mistakes as well. He's kind of grow, he's kind of, he's kind of, he's kind of grow, he's kind of mature, he's kind of learn other people's experience if you didn't accept your mistakes and move on from them. I mean, I've made a lot of mistakes in my, in my past. I'm 33 now, um, and I'll never make a lot of mistakes that I made in the past. Don't get me wrong, there's certain things that I've done that I'll not say I'm proud of, but I'll do it again if I had to. That's just the way life is. Um, but he screwed my camera as well. It's the only phone I can make a video on for YouTube, but I cannot remember my settings, hey, my, my password, my fuck all, my sign and shit. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to be fucking phones, I'm not going to be computers. Somebody did set my YouTube channel for this. Sorry, somebody did set my YouTube channel up for me. Somebody set my Facebook up for me. Not going stupid. Just coming up day, but that kind of shit. Okay, my life was on the street and, and I was going to do what I was doing. I was interested in the time for computers and phones and shit like that. But now I'm um, just taking life easy. I'm burnt out from my past. Um, I just don't want to go back really. Um, Fucking, I've been right London lately. I don't know what's been wrong with this. Um, a psychic who came into my life uh, four years ago who blew my mind away. Wrote a random message last week. He said, I've a book about your life. And that guy kissed uh, uh, a certain television channel. Um, can it's just madness. Like, obviously, it's just through people saying my name and passing. It was just word to mouth, basically. Um, that's how I came about in the first place. Because uh, I wanted to folk know my story, or stories, and they're quite exciting. But um, if I can help one person a day, letting them know you can grow, there's time to change, then, then I'll continue to make videos. Um, all I want is the best in this generation. I just want to see everybody getting on and they're in a better place. And um, we need people who've made mistakes to make that happen. Anyway, have a good Sunday. Peace out.